The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. With Ray Malone, Jill Jarman, Danny Arnold, Sheldon Leonard, and Mike Mazurki. Presented by the Colgate Palm Olive Feet Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Palm Olive Brushless Shaving. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Starting a meeting? Say aye. Aye. All's opposed? Say nay. 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 This is a democracy. You're entitled. <laughs> the decision is now unanimous. <laughs> As you fellas know, we are gathered here tonight to honor our good pal, Fingers Hennessy. <laughs> In here, down. <laughs> Fingers has been named Poodle of the Year. <laughs> and for this, he gets the 1951 Dillinger Award. <laughs> Now, as a special treat, we have hired a couple of famous entertainers to make the presentation. And here they are, them famous entertainers, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. I didn't know we were... Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> be here at this a sophisticated occasion. Uh, I didn't know we were coming into a hardware store. Yes, what's going on here? Look at, uh, well, hello, fellows. Here we are. Isn't that well? <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at this. Oh, look at this fellow here. He seems to be staring. <laughs> well, why don't you stare and make it even, huh? No, easy, easy. <laughs> no, I think, I think there's something definitely and radically wrong here. I say, fellow, laugh it up. Here we are, the Funsters. Uh, they just fired on Fort Sumter. <laughs> here, boy, these are the jokes. Let's face it. <laughs> here, boy, come on, what do you say? <laughs> Dean, Dean, I have an inkling we should get out of here. Come on, let's go. All that. You guys are supposed to be entertainers, so entertain. We're not going to entertain these bunch of No, we can't. No. Dan. No. No, we can't. Dan. Yes, here we 
the ID, Martin, and I'm going to introduce your song, Max, so fly away. Max, so fly away? I don't get this. Well, your name is really Dean, but I called you Max, and I told you to fly away because Max Fly is the name of a golf ball, and the sponsor doesn't want us to make any plugs. We please. need the golf ball. Because please. we both play golf, so send them to the house right away. <laughs> oh, I can just see the sponsor now squeezing all the cold these toothpaste out of the tube, and he's screaming something awful. <laughs> all right, now, before you do anything else, Jerry, introduce... Introduce my song and make it lovely. It's Academy Award time. He gets so carried away. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce my partner's song. And this is a very, very beautiful tune, by the way. And uh, this is a song that... Uh... <laughs> well, you like to excuse me. I was talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, this is a song that my partner... <laughs> Here, you're very rude. And I was talking to him. And get up here! I'll have to ask you not to be so impertinent. Now, here, well, well, if you want to fool around, fine, and follow me. Uh -huh, I got everybody crazy! <laughs> you know, the television director, Kingman Moore, is sitting in the booth, and all you people that see me do these crazy things, you think he's going crazy? This man gets up in the morning, 7 o'clock on Sunday. He looks out the window and he says, It's Martin and Lewis Day. And he runs down to the theater, and he gives all the cues. He says, two camera, three camera, one camera, four camera. And then it's one minute to five, and he says, cue music, and we're on the air. And Dean and I walk through the curtain. The TV director looks at us, he takes a sigh and says, uh. <laughs> all right, don't try and make up. I would like, um, I would like very serious, what is it? I have to get over here? Guys going like this with the earphones. Get over there. All right, I'm in just this part. All right, here I am. Aren't I a doll? <laughs> Yes, you always get smoother, more comfortable, yes, more comfortable shaves the palm olive brushless way. For in tests with over 1,200 men following directions on cue, three out of four reported the palm olive brushless way is super smooth. Yes, sir. Wilt's whiskers even as tough as mine. Super comfortable. Protects my face with a soft film that actually floats the razor's cutting edge over my face. Super easy. Even in cold or hard water, I get a close, clean shave every time. You get smoother, more comfortable, comfortable shave. The palm olive brush, let's And men, to top off that perfect shave, use the lotion that cools in seconds and soothes for hours. It's new Palm Olive After Shave Lotion. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Broadcasting Company has received thousands of inquiries from its viewers regarding the personal lives of Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Well, what are they like and how do they live? Well, tonight we're going to try and answer those questions for you as we take you directly to the homes of Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Ah, now here we have the beautiful home of Mr. Dean Martin. This is Mr. Martin's patio, from which we can see his sumptuous swimming pool and beautiful gardens. And here's Mr. Martin now. My, that cold beer looks mighty good. While Dean relaxes, let's look in on Jerry. You know, of course, that Dean and Jerry, as well as being 50-50 partners, are the greatest of friends also. So naturally, Jerry lives right next door. As a matter of fact, Dean just threw that empty beer can right into Jerry's backyard.
thing you're afraid of. <laughs> Isn't it, Demon? I'm just pretty sick and tired of throwing those beer cans in my yard. You don't expect me to throw them in my yard, do you? No, it's better you throw them in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Martin. I prepared a very nice lunch for you. Great, thank you. <laughs> I told you a thousand times not to bother me in the afternoon. Here's your sandwich. Here's your milk. <laughs> Ferguson is here, sir. Send her in. Oh, there you are, darling. Oh, I was just driving downtown. I thought there might be something I could get for you. Yeah, would you mind going to the store and getting my shoes for oh, me? Oh, I'd love to. I'd just be so happy to, darling. You don't know. Mm, oh, at last I can do something for the man I love. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> father, father, father. Now, there's a dame out there who wants to see you. What am I going to do about this dame out there? S send her in. Say please. What? Say please. Sure, please send her. Hey, dame, come on in here. <laughs> hello, hello, dear. Uh, sweetheart, I was wondering if you'd go downtown and pick up my roller skate. You gonna send me on another errand? Well, no, you dear. You think I have nothing else to do but go all over town for you? Well, no, dear, I... What are you? Crazy or something? No, dear, I just thought that You're maybe... the crummiest, laziest bum I ever knew. <laughs> <laughs> She's overacting, that's it. <laughs> Get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't dirty up your yard with my dirty body. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't like to do team whatsoever. I'm the unhappiest soul that ever was a mortal. <laughs> I don't like this. Look at this beautiful pool you got, this beautiful mansion. I live in an upholstered sewer. I don't like it. <laughs> Why must I? Why do you? Why is it? We're not working like we're supposed to. This ain't happy. Oh, yeah, we split everything happy. 70 30 ain't happy. <laughs> Let's go back to the 65 35. That's happy. Well, listen, why don't you save your money like I do? Yeah, and live like that. I can't save a penny. I tried with my piggy bank. You should see it's almost empty. Well, uh, let me see your piggy bank. You'll see. I, got I don't have practically anything left in there. Uh -huh. Look at it. Look, listen. Oh, you can't keep pennies. That's a, that's a real pig. No, you're a real pig. <laughs> and look, I have nothing left. <laughs> All right, where's the rest of it? <laughs> Don't stare at me. <laughs> Get up with the nickel. <laughs> I might even make money, you know something, Dean? I don't care, but with my pig, he's trained and everything. I might make money with him. You want to see the trick? Yeah, let me see all the tricks, though. All right. Come on, piggy. Roll over, jump over my arm, and say, how are you? <laughs> all right, now, turn around and jump over. Hey, could he do that one again? <laughs> I didn't see it all. Come on, piggy. Here we go. Get off, get, take him off the stage, and don't ask us again to put your son on a show. Uh, well, you listen to me, will you? The only way you can make money is for you to get my shirts clean. They've been coming back dirty, Jim. That's dirty. Hey, what do you want us to do? Wait. The washing machine ain't the best in the world, so it's dirty. I didn't know it was dirty, but I'll see what I can do about it. Okay. They were dirty. Hey, Ma! Stand a shirt clean, will you? No, I break it. Now, now, you listen to me there, 
right there. I'm going to, I got the big executive, Mr. Pat Weaver, coming over. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, so we'll talk to him. But, no, we won't. We'll won't talk to him. I'll, I'll talk to oh, him. Oh, we'll won't. No. You'll. You'll, is right. <laughs> I'll, I'll. And I'll be back with a flash, Gordon. All right, Harry. <laughs> All right, you go talk to him. I don't care, because I have lots of painting to do. As you know, that is my hobby. Yes. Yeah. Well, Mr. Pat Weaver. Hello, Dean. How are you? Fine. It's good to be here. And you know I'm very eager to meet your partner. Well, let's go on over to the backyard. You know he has a hobby ah. painting. He's a mental giant, this We won't cat. disturb him. No, you must be quiet, because he just... Hey, let's go on in. I'll go back and see what I can do with Jerry Lewis. I mean, it gets a little upset at times. He's quite a painter, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Jerry, why do you... Oh, I'm sorry, Dean. I don't know why I do those things. Sometimes I stay up night in and night out. I can't sleep. I say to myself, why must I be the idiot? What a million of people who were born. Why must I do these stupid, ridiculous, imbecilic things? Dean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Lucy, you shouldn't take it so hard. I mean, it, it wasn't well, as... I, feel I very forgive bad. you. Hey, I forgive you, all right, but... <laughs> what is it? I, I, got, I got carried away, Dean. <laughs> now, don't you bother me, because I'm going over and talk to Mr. Weaver. All hmm? right. Okay, stay, yeah. stay in your own backyard. <laughs> now, Mr. Weaver... About your contract. Yeah, I, I'd like to speak to you about that. You see, I, I, we would like to have a different kind of a contract. This time, we want the writers working for us. Good, I agree with you. Sure. And any, any, what is it? What is it? What are you listening? What are you listening <laughs> for? <laughs> Get out of here. Now we're saying we need these wonderful writers. They are great writers, you know. And to uh, sort of get Jerry and I in a mood of doing these wonderful shows, you just... Hey! What is it? I told you to stay back there, didn't I? <laughs> didn't I tell you to stay back there? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Weaver, what are you you do so I won't do it? <laughs> yes, I would think we should feature more songs on the program. Right, yes, right there. And I think that the even. <laughs> now, as I was saying, we need some some new singers on the show. We have some beautiful girls. Plenty of girls. Oh, we need plenty of. <laughs> Will you go fly a kite? <laughs> I don't understand this boy at all. You see, at times when, when he's alone, he, ha he has so much fun just calling people on the phone and say, Look at that. Look at that. Huh? You know what it is? 
I la, haven't la, thrown la, a pipe for over 42 please. years just to see one again. Makes me feel like a kid. Oh, That's the well, well, maybe la. Jerry will let you fly this car. Oh, no, this is my Ask him, ask him. Oh, yeah, ask him. I think uh, it would be nice. No, no, I, I don't want anyone to fly. I used to be pretty good at this sort of thing. Oh, uh, no, you can look at it, Mr. Weaver. You, you can hold it, but don't fly it. <laughs> You can cut the rope, even. You can look at it all day. But don't fly it! <laughs> it's my kind. That's why I say to you with all my heart, don't fly it! <laughs> I mean, it's all right. Jerry was very kind enough to let you have the thing and let you play around, but the... Don't fly it! Well, Dean, I have a guest in your house today. Well, thank you, old guy. Said it too much. Okay. <laughs> I got to ride, baby. Got to ride, baby. Get out of here and get me some money too. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have milk here soon. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, give, give me my kite. Take the kite there. It's my kite, and Mister Weaver shouldn't have had my kite either. No. It's, it's my kite, Dean, and he shouldn't bother with it because I have a Dean. Hey. Yeah. Ajax cleans your kitchen sink up to twice as easy, twice as fast. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Get things clean just like a whiz. You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Pop the dirt right down the drain. Ajax leaves no gritty cleanser scum in pets or things. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Boom, boom, boom. Get things clean just like a whiz. Boom, 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 boom. Remember, Colgate's Ajax foams as it cleans. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Ajax polishes as it cleans. Mmm, and it smells good, too. So use Ajax. Why not see for yourself how Ajax cleans your kitchen sink up to twice as easy and twice as fast as any other leading cleanser. Get two cans for your kitchen and bathroom. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. <laughs> How about a little service here? Take it easy. I only got two feet. Well, why don't you hire some more help? I did, and he should be around here pretty soon. He should be walking in here. He's a good man, too, and a good man nowadays is hard to find. <laughs> uh, everything's all right, Charlie? Mm -hmm. All right, that's nice. Everything is perfectly all right. I'll just put a little magazine here. Dabba, 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 Hello there. How about a picture of you and your girl? Hold it. Thank you. <laughs> I do all these bits. Yes, sir. How do you do, sir? Let me see. That'll be 40 cents, sir. 40 cents for a look magazine? It's 15 cents. I beg your pardon, sir. Four copies of Quick or 40 cents. <laughs> What are you doing in my foundry, anyhow? Oh, I came over here, sir, from the employment agency, and they said that you needed a very fine, upstanding, sanitary soda jerker, sir. Well, look no fighter, buddy. I'm your jerk. <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question. You know anything about soda jerking? Do I know anything about soda jerking? Ha, 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 ha. country I worked in. Every one of them. There ain't one I ain't worked in. This bum wants to know, do I know anything about soda drinking? 
<laughs> Do you? No! <laughs> Let me ask you a few questions. Now, come over and step to my right. My yes, left. sir. Now, if someone orders some vanilla ice cream, how would you give it to them? Oh, uh, vanilla ice cream? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I get the plate, sir, and I get the vanilla ice cream and put it right on there. No, you don't do it that way, Zelma. No. You get yourself a scoop, right? What did you call me? Zelma. Zelma, that you love me tonight. <laughs> You scoop in like this, and you pick it up, and there art thou. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, sir. That's you take it. the scooper, and mm -hmm. you scoop it up, then you put it in the hand. No. <laughs> look, I want to... Give me this towel. Now, look, I'll act like I'm the customer, and you be the clerk. Right? All righty. You be the customer. All right, I'll sir. Act like you don't see me. Yeah, I'll make out like I don't even know you're there. All right. We. been here for the whole hour. <laughs> uh, what, what, do you, what do you have, sir? Tell me, won't you? All right, I'd like to have a, a strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake? Right out, sir. One strawberry milkshake for the man. Coming up. One strawberry milkshake. First, we take the milk. Little strawberry milkshake for the man who knows the best in fine food. Strawberry milkshake. Yes, Sir, Strawberry milkshake for the man. Strawberry milkshake for the man. Strawberry milkshake. Put in the cream. Put in your ass cream. Turn out the lake. Because we're having them milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> dressed for the job, sir, anyhow. Oh, lo and behold, I have something for you. You must be... You must be sanitary. Oh, yes, I will, sir. I'll be very clean okay. and very nice, sir. Thank okay. you. Oh, this is very stunning. I look like a regular bro bramel. No, you look like a bum bramel. It's a better. bum bramel. There, now, there Oh, now are. I will... Here, sir. Oh, no. Not my Abba Dabba hat. <laughs> I got this last Sunday for catching three black scorpions from the Beaver Patrol on our desert outing. Well, how many of you fellas went? Well, Aunt Sylvia wanted Fred to come. Oh, come on, I don't want to know about that. Well, what do you want me to do first, sir? What well, shall be my chores? You want me to get anything for you, yeah, sir? Yeah, get some plates. There's a good cue. Get some plates. Oh. Yeah. yeah, get some plates. Or don't oh. you want to get the plates? Oh, I'll get the plates for you from the kitchen, sir. Well, you can't get them from the garage. All righty, and here I go. All right, here we go. What's with that guy? Is he crazy or something? No, he got the wrong head back from the cleaning. <laughs> he is. Clean up, 
sir. Yes, sir. Okay. This is it. This is it. What? This is your first customer. Let him have it. Yes, sir. -ree. How about a little service over here? Little service. Yes, sir. What do you like to have, sir? Well, I think I'd like to have a nice Sunday. A Sunday. Yes, sir. -ree. What kind, sir? Oh, any kind. What will you suggest? Suggest? Oh, I don't know. How about the Reeny Rick Birdie wheel? Oh, good. <laughs> Take it with, with French ice cream. French, French ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> We get lost, we get lost, you know. <laughs> French ice cream, the men won't. French ice cream, here we are. We start off there with Winelda. More Winelda. <laughs> oh, chocolate. <laughs> to the pudding. <laughs> Pistachio. Top it all off, sir. Butter, pico. <laughs> and now we put a little bit cherry. And then after that, we put a little bit nut. Nut is good for the sun, sir. And then raspberry. Oh, the raspberry. <laughs> How about the wipe cream? Who wipe the cream? <laughs> we use. A ready whip for wipe the cream. Yeah, and gold meadow ice cream. The writers get eighty dollars. <laughs> Here we are, sir. The whip cream. There you are ready. There you are, sir. That looks wonderful. Yeah, you could wear that. <laughs> you wanna come in Monday for a fitting? <laughs> There you are. This looks awful good. I'd like to take some of this home. You want to take you some You want to take some ice cream home? All right. Some chocolate. <laughs> some more chocolate. <laughs> Waiting on customers like that? No. <laughs> no, you're such a nerd. Why is there something wrong here? <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Keith. Wow, wow, wow. What's the matter with the machine? I just put a nickel in. Doesn't work. Hey, Clarence, go see what it is. Yes, sir. I'll take a look if I can see. <laughs> yeah. You mean a machine don't work? Doesn't operate. What's the matter, Ma? Play the music. <laughs> Keep the beat. <laughs> Gee, my mom's a Wurlitzer. <laughs> hey, is this a soda fountain or ain't it? What does it look like, Empress? <laughs> I'd like, like to get one of them giant malls. You'd like to get one? We don't give any more. We don't make any more giant malls. No, no, no more sense. giant malls. It's too much work. You want a super malt or an extra special eggs? It's all right with me, but we don't give those giant malts anymore. Listen, buddy. <laughs> Wow. The sign says a giant malt. Yeah? Do I get a giant malt or do I knock your heads together? You, you, you get a giant malt together. <laughs> oh, I mean, what's 
the giant monster. La, la, la. Yeah. All right, Bobby, we're going to give it to you. No, we'll take a spin around the lake. I right, get out of here. I'll need you, buddy. Get lost. Away, giant mixer. <laughs> hey, all right. All right, the bit's over. All right. Okay, let's have this uh, throw it away. We'll have to. Throw this away? Yeah, because he didn't want it. Let's throw it away. Hold it. Hold it, Shirley. You're not going to throw this away. Oh, we have to, Harry, because there's no one here to drink it. Yes, there is, and it's not me. (laughs) The whole giant malted ice cream. The whole thing you should drink. Here's your straw. Well, I like giant malted. I don't mind. I'm going to drink it now. Good. You want to leave a call? That's a woman for you. I asked her to get my shirts whiter. What does she call this, whiter? That's just like a man. How can I get his shirts as white as he wants? Unless I bleach the life out of them. Well, the answer to that question is easy. A box of Colgate New Fab. New Fab washes clothes whiter without bleaching. Yes, whiter than any other product known with the bleach in the wash water. But I can hear you say, if Fab Wash is that white, is it safe for all my clothes and my washable colors? <laughs> Fab actually washes new liveliness into your white and makes your washable colors look brighter. Now take this shirt. It's been washed dozens of times in Fab, yet it's full of strength and life. Yes, a livelier white, a cleaner white. In the hardest water, Fab washes clothes cleaner than any soap on earth. Gets dirt out, leaves no soap scum. And Fab gives you the sweetest smelling wash ever. Fab's wonderfully mild to hands, too. Remember our friends. Now there's only one side to their story. Boy, really white shirts at last. How did you do it? Just Fab, and I didn't have to bleach. Get Fab. Find out for yourself why more and more in every store, the folks all grab for Fab. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we 
uh, we ran a little too long at rehearsal. We only had did a show for about 90 minutes. And we had to cut it down to 60. And I don't think we made it. Well, this is the first time we've been over in a long time. Yeah. You shouldn't get upset, though, because it happens every day in television. <laughs> what are you staring at us? We're not criminals. So we couldn't get everything on the show in. What do you want to do, fight with somebody? <laughs> what? what is it? Ladies, what? I didn't hear you. Speak up, Norman. Don't uh, tell don't us what, tell to, what do. to do. We don't have to take any orders from you fellas back there. Yeah, just don't come around here telling us what to do. You just stay The stay writers have to come in every show and tell us what's the matter. Have we been in the business? Don't sure. make any suggestions when we're on stage. Do me a favor. Don't come out here. Will you please? Well, don't embarrass me in front of 15 people. Embarrass minutes. nothing. You don't walk out on the stage. <laughs> It'll ask for more money. <laughs> right now, I, I didn't hear you. What is it, Dick? One minute? We Ladies and gentlemen, we do have to sacrifice some of the, yeah. the show, but we do have to make mention of the fact that you've been so wonderful to us in our crusade to help muscular dystrophy, the disease where the people know nothing about it, they don't know the cause or the cure. You've been so very gracious and wonderful sending your money to MDA, New York 8, New York, that we'd like to impress upon you. It's so very imperative that you do it some more. Right. MDA, New York 18, New York. And next week, our very wonderful and lovable Mr. Eddie Cantor will be on a Colgate Comedy Hour. As for my partner, myself, we wish we could have finished the show, but that's television. We're sorry. We love so you all. We'll right? see you all soon, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this part of the show. Maybe the next time you'll see the last part of this show. You never can tell. That's all the same stuff. <laughs> Goodbye, and God bless Good you night, all. Good night, everybody. Vicky. Colgate Comedy Hour has been presented by Halo Shampoo. Kamala is dressed for shaving cream. Ajax Cleanser. And Fab, the new wash day suds. The Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Pamela Peat Company, makers of quality products since 1806.
And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Starting a meeting? Say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Say nay. 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 This is a democracy. You're entitled. <laughs> the decision is now unanimous. <laughs> As you fellas know, we are gathered here tonight to honor our good pal, Fingers Hennessy. <laughs> In here, down. <laughs> Fingers has been named Poodlem of the Year. Yeah. And for this, he gets the 1951 Dillinger Award. <laughs> Now, as a special treat, we have hired a couple of famous entertainers to make the presentation. And here they are, them famous entertainers, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. A sophisticated occasion. Yeah, uh, I didn't know we were coming into a hardware store. Yes, what's going on here? Look at, uh, well, hello, fellows. Here we are. Isn't that swell? <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at this. Oh, look at this fellow here. He seems to be staring. <laughs> well, why don't you stare and make it even, huh? No, easy, easy. <laughs> no, I think, I think there's something definitely and radically wrong here. I say, fellow, laugh it up. Here we are, the Funsters. Ah, uh, they just fired on Fort Sumter. <laughs> here, boy, these are the jokes, let's face it. <laughs> here, boy, come on, what do you say? <laughs> Dean, Dean, I have an inkling we should get out of here. Come on, let's go. All that. You guys are supposed to be entertainers, so entertain. We're not 